Hello, I'm Tom Nahumi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration video, I'm going to give you an overview of the new LDAP authentication capability we've just added to Parstore and show you how to configure it. LDAP is an application protocol for querying and modifying directory services running on TCP IP networks. LDAP helps centralize the management of network authentication and authorization operations. Integrating Parstore users into an existing LDAP environment provides a way to control management access based on established user and group accounts within the LDAP directory. With that, let's start. The first step is configuring LDAP server. In Parstore, click on the gear icon at the top right to display the settings page. Then, in the left panel under user section, click directory services. Next, click configure LDAP. Under the server type section, select the radio button depending on what type of LDAP server you are configuring. Click add to display the LDAP server dialog box and enter the IP address or the fully qualified hostname and then click OK. For domain name, type the domain name of the LDAP authentication server. For bind the end, type the distinguished name of the LDAP bind user with administrator privileges. For bind the end password, type the password for the user specified in bind the end. In order to find the distinguished name, you can right click on the users in Active Directory Users and Computers and then select Properties. Next, Click on the Attribute Editor and scroll down to find the distinguished name. In the Advanced Settings drop-down menu, update the search path or other fields as necessary. If the LDAP server has a different search path than the default, you can change it here. Next, click Apply to save the advanced configuration changes. To avoid possibility of data being unavailable, you must verify the LDAP connection after every LDAP configuration change. To verify the connection to the LDAP server is successful or not, click Verify Connection on the Directory Services page. If the configuration is valid, a connection will be established with the LDAP server and a green check mark along with the text Connection Verified. The next step is configuring an LDAP account. LDAP account has a type of LDAP user or group. The procedure for creating an LDAP group on the Parstore system is the same as creating an LDAP user. In the left panel, under the user sections, click Users, and then click on the LDAP tab. Next, click on the Add button. Select the type of user you are adding. This can be a user or a group. Select the domain this user belongs to, and then select the role you would like the user to be. There are five different roles a user or group can be assigned. Administrator, Storage Administrator, Operator, VM Administrator, or Security Administrator. Select the desired role and click Apply. As you can see, I have a group called Storage Administrators in my Active Directory. I'm going back to Parstore and clicking on the Add button. Then I'm setting the type to Group and selecting the domain this group belongs to. Next, I'm selecting the Storage Administrator role and clicking Apply. At this stage, every user in this group has Storage Administrator permissions on the Parstore system. Now, let's log out and try to log in with my Active Directory user. On the main screen, I'm specifying my user and password. I've just added to Parstore and then clicking Login. As you can see, my user has administrator privileges so it can perform any operation on the Parstore system. I hope you will find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.